Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a Yachty's Pizzeria pepperoni and bacon pizza. It sounds awesome. Uh, we love pepperoni and we love bacon. Hey, the pull tab worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay, this was the little things that make me happy, right? This was $6.98 at Walmart. Shake it down. So we have reviewed uh, there are four, to my knowledge, Lily Yachty pizzas, and this is the fourth one we've reviewed. So if you haven't seen the other ones, you might want to go look at those after you watch this. But I'm just going to spread my pepperoni out. I do this on any pizza, not just these, because you want them evenly distributed. And you can see the pieces of bacon there. Okay, so... This is just like all the other ones, exactly like it. The times have not varied at all. Uh, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, uh, bake for 21 to 23 minutes. We always go for 23 minutes or until it is 165 degrees if you want to um, take its temperature. And then uh, you want to cook it on the rack. And so we are going to put it in for 23 minutes the full time and then we'll be back. Okay, here is the pizza, and just so you know, like, we had to pry it out between, like, the slats because this crust is so soft that it's it's no different than the other ones we've had. It, it does smell really, really good, mm -hmm. um, but the crust, it's literally, like, wavy on the bottom where it went into the, um, the slats in the oven, so Kevin's going to show you. Yeah, it's just, it, we've just not, we're not used to pizza that does that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're gonna get us a couple slices and give it a try. So it says, how about a rising crust pizza that's loved by hip hop mogul Lil Yachty? It starts with a crispy crust that's coated in Parmesan and cheddar cheese puff seasoning on the outside and tender freshly baked dough on the inside. Then we cover it all in delicious melted mozzarella cheese, smoky bacon, and deep layers of pepperoni. Uh, it is a sixth of the pizza, 142 grams. It's 390 calories. I think this is the first one that's actually had his full name on the back. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. that, that's actually said that. Okay. Um, they, they say crispy crust. There's nothing crispy about this crust usually, especially on the bottom. It's, it's very soft. It smells though. It, it smells does good. smell really good. It's very hot. I think it's gonna be hot. Yeah. Are you gonna burn your mouth? Am I gonna burn my mouth? Probably. Probably. It's pretty hot. It's very greasy. It's um, pepperoni tends to be greasy. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's grease little. Um, blobs of grease yeah, on the plate. Yeah, it's wet. Mm -hmm. So, what you might want to do, kind of like when you're making a, a frozen pancake in the microwave. I always take a paper towel or napkin and sop up the, the uh, water. Um, I would do that too with the pizza because I do not like uh, soggy bread whatsoever. And this is bread is, is soft anyway. Mm -hmm. And laying in that grease is definitely going to just make, make it, it softer. softer. Yes. Um, this is the best tasting one out of the ones we've tried. I agree. For sure. I agree. I like the buffalo chicken one. Mm -hmm. um, the flavor of that one was really good. Mm -hmm. But I think this is bad. Mm -hmm. um, and the crust is even seems to be a little firmer. I don't know. This is cheddar cheese seasoned crust. I think the other ones have said, all said hot, hot cheese spicy or something. or something like that. This one does not say that. This one just says seasoned crust. Maybe that's why. But yeah. I do have to say, even though the other ones say like spicy or whatever, none of them were like spicy. What I would consider spicy. Um... You know, the buffalo, if you... The if buffalo you, had some seasoning. The buffalo yeah. had some spice to it. If you can't have... If you can't eat buffalo, then... If you don't want to eat buffalo because you're worried about the spice, then that one you could avoid. But I don't recall the cheese one being, like, hot spicy. Like, 
spicy hot. And I don't remember the veggie one being that way either. So even though it said that, I don't think you need to be afraid of it being like a hot sauce. Right, yeah, it's not that hot. Um, um, I ate some of the crust in the back just to get a feel for the crust. Mm -hmm. um, I did too. It's good, it's got a good flavor, it's got a good texture to you. Like I said, if you're gonna buy any of them, buy this. <laughs> yes, it, yes, out of the four, this is the one I would choose. What do you think about the flavor of the bacon itself? Of the the bacon, I get the smokiness from the bacon. Uh, the pepperoni, I, you taste the pepperoni. I didn't get one by itself, but you do taste, you get a good flavor from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a softer pepperoni than I'm used to, but it has a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I really do it's like the bacon. Yeah, it is a, um, it's a strong pepperoni flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, it's not spicy, like I said, none of this is spicy, but it really has a strong flavor because sometimes you get pepperoni and it's like, well, I may as well be eating anything, a piece of bologna or something. That's what I was going to say, know? bologna or something. Yeah, because it doesn't taste like pepperoni. Mm -hmm. That tastes like pepperoni. I love the flavor and the smell of the bacon. Yeah. This is definitely one to get. Now, would this replace my favorite pizza? No, it wouldn't, but... Um, if somebody had these on a table, you would, get, yes. you would eat this one. Choose this one. Yeah. Choose this one. Although, I really do like the onion on the buffalo. I like the buffalo you and get the, the buffalo onion. And pick all the onion on and the, the chicken. I really yeah. like that combination. Take a fork and just scrape all the toppings off. I think this, out of the four, this crust is even better, somewhat better than yeah. the other ones before it. It is, it is. It has a better flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they didn't use that hot cheese. Maybe cheese, not. Hot Cheetos kind of whatever. But I didn't want crust. somebody to avoid these because they say spicy or whatever, because mm -hmm. really they're they're not. And this one didn't say that at all. So this is your, just your traditional bacon pepperoni pizza. Um, but definitely the one out of the Ford Wharf Tribe. Yeah. 100%. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.